Hello, my name is Chris Hammond. I'm the director of training here at .NET New Corporation. In today's short video, I'm going to show you how to use some custom module development templates that I've just released. So some of the steps we're going to be going through, we're going to first have to install uh, a project called the MS Build Community Tasks. And I'll show you where to get that, how to install it. And then we're going to go and download the recently released templates, saving them into a specific folder. And then I'll show you how to create a project. We'll do a quick build. We'll build in release mode so that we can package our module. And then we'll install the module on a .NET Nuke website. So I'll go ahead and switch over to Internet Explorer here. And I'm on the templates page on CodePlex. And I'll have a blog post on where you can access all this information. But on the templates page, we've got a link going out to the MS Build Tasks community project. So I'm going to go ahead and visit that URL at msbuildtasks.tigris.org. And if we scroll down to the bottom, there's a MSI file that we can download here. We'll go ahead and download that file. And you can simply run the file, which will go through and install the MS Build Community Tasks. We'll go ahead and accept the license, click on Next, Next, and Install, and that will install it for us. Now, this, this particular template that I've released uses MS Build instead of NANT, as we've previously used in earlier templates. So this, this template removes the NANT build scripts uh, for the automated packaging and uses these MS build build scripts. And the setup for that MS build community task project is quite a bit easier than going through and installing and configuring NANT. So now that we've gone through and set that up, we can go ahead and download the template. And there's a C sharp and a VB version of the template, depending on which you'd like to use, which language you'd like to use in your development. I'm going to go ahead and download the C-sharp version. I'm going to save that zip file into a very specific folder. Now I'm starting out in my My Documents folder. I'm going to navigate into my Visual Studio 2008 folder. Now if you're using Visual Studio 2010, you can go into that folder as well. From there, I'm going to go into a folder called Templates. I'm going to go into Project Templates. I'm then going to go into the Visual C Sharp folder because that's the template that I'm downloading. And I'm going to go ahead and save that template into a folder called Web. Now, if you don't have a web folder, you can go ahead and create that. So we're saving that zip file directly into that folder. Go ahead and save that. And now we can load Visual Studio. So I'm going to go ahead and start Visual Studio. And I'm going to go and create a new project. So by choosing new project, in the project types, I'm going to choose the language, Visual C Sharp. And I'm going to choose the web folder. And you'll see that I now have a .NET Nuke C Sharp compiled module template available to me. Now, if you've already had Visual Studio running before you download the template, you'll need to restart Visual Studio. I'm going to go ahead and select that template. And I'm going to give my module a name. I'm just going to call it Module Example. Now, I'm going to put that module into a very specific folder. It's going to go into my C websites DNN dev slash website slash desktop modules folder. So wherever you have .NET Nuke running in your development environment, you're going to want to go into the desktop modules folder. Now Visual Studio will create a folder called module example inside of that desktop modules folder. I'm also going to make sure that the create directory for solution is not checked. And then I'll go ahead and click OK. Now, the first time I create a project based on the template, or first time I open a project based on this template, Visual Studio is going to prompt me with a security warning. And it's because of these custom build tasks. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the load project normally and click OK. We'll go through and Visual Studio will create our project for us. It'll take just a moment to do. And this particular template creates a very basic module project with a view, an edit, and a settings control. It has some documentation information here that lists off things that you can go through and configure. But really what we can do is simply come into our project now and we can do a build. And at the bottom of the screen we quickly get a message there that says build succeeded. Now in order to use the MS build to do our packaging within our module, you need to change into release mode. So I'm going to go ahead and choose from the drop down list. I'm going to choose release mode. And I'm going to go ahead and do another build. We get a build succeeded again. And if we were to navigate to the folder where we have that project created, 
find that we have a folder here called module example inside of desktop modules. If I go in there, there's now a folder called packages. And we have two packages in there, an install package and a source package. This module has now been built and packaged into two installable zip files. And we can take these files and install them on a .NET Nuke site. So I'm going to go ahead and load up a DNN site here. It'll take just a moment for that website to load. Reason for that is we've just built a new project. That project gets built into the bin folder of the website. And that essentially causes the website to restart. Everything has to recompile and load again within IIS. Now if I go ahead and log into this website, I'm going to log in as the host account or a super user. And once we're logged in as a host or a super user, we can go ahead and install the module. Now utilizing this template makes it very easy to install the module. If we go to the host extensions page, since we've already built and packaged the module, I can simply come in to the extensions page and choose install extension wizard. We would then browse to the file for our project. And in my case, that's going to be in DNN dev website desktop modules, module example, and then we'll go into that packages folder. Now, because we're doing this locally, I'm installing the module in the same instant or same environment that I'm developing the module. What I'm essentially going to do is install the module over that existing code. So I chose the source package. We can go ahead and choose next and .NET Nuke will walk through the basic installation wizard. If I go ahead and click on next and complete the install, .NET Nuke will go through and install our module. We should get install successful. And we can go ahead and click on return. That will take us back to the host extensions page. Now, while we wait for that to occur, it's going to take a moment for that to load. If I switch back to Visual Studio, Visual Studio now prompts me. It sees that the files on the file system have changed, and it asks me if I'd like to reload the project. That's because we overwrote all of the files with the source package. So I'll go ahead and click on reload. I get the load project uh, security warning again. So I'll go ahead and click load project normally. Click OK. And once again, we have our project loaded. We now have our project loaded and our module installed in .NET Nuke. On the host extensions page, we'll find that module example is listed there. And if we go in and we could create a new page to place the module onto, I'm going to go ahead and create a new page, clicking on the new page icon. And I will call this page module example. Now I could go through and define all of the other properties for the page. I don't need to at this point. I am going to choose not to use a page template. I will make it visible to all users. Go ahead and click on update just to quickly create a blank page. And then within my control panel at the top, I'm going to choose the module example module and I'm going to go ahead and add that module to a page. So we now have a module that we've packaged, compiled and installed within our .NET Nuke website and it can be loaded on a page. Now the module based on this template is empty at this point so we'd have to go through and start adding functionality to it. We'll do that in another video. Hope you find these templates useful. Uh, they're very easy ways to get set up and, and start creating new modules, new projects. Uh, so definitely encourage you to check out both the C-Sharp and the VB version. Also, if you're looking for additional .NET Nuke training, please feel free to check out the training page on .NET Nuke.com. You can use the shortcut UR, URL here, bit.ly slash DNN train. We've got a number of free training videos. We offer instructor-led online training. We also do online and on-site custom training.